Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we have episode number 4 of the Newcastle Financial Takeover Career Mode in FIFA 20. Now I just want to say another big thanks for the previous uh, videos that uh, you guys have shown support on. Uh, the likes, the comments and also just the, the views and also the subscriptions as well. Um, we, since I've started again um, last week, we've gained uh, a lot of subscribers, views, likes, and comments. Um, so I do really appreciate that. And um, I hope you do enjoy today's episode and the series that we have got um, coming your way. Now, obviously, as you see on the screen, it is deadline day. Uh, I don't think we will be making any more signings um, just because uh, if you look at the budget, uh, we don't actually have much money left. Um, I could potentially buy someone if someone sells, but I don't think that will happen. Um, but we are going to go through deadline day just to see if anyone does actually uh, come in with a bid for any of our players. Now, um, before we do obviously get into the episode, if you could leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you're new around here, I would greatly appreciate that. Now, let's see. Dummett has got an offer for 7.9 million. I might accept that and go in for someone if he sells. Because Dummett was one of those players that we were going to get try and get rid of because we've already got a lot of centre-backs um, in the club. Um, I think he might have... Has he gone? Oh, okay, that's just Colback's transfer talk not going to plan. Um, if he does sell, I might have a bit of money to, you know, uh, go and try and buy someone. Gibson, I've been trying to sell this guy for ages, not going to lie. He literally won't leave. I think he just... His transfer, uh, his contract talks just break down all the time. So, not too sure about him there. Dummett has been sold. So, how much do we have in the transfer budget? 6.7 million. Now, I don't think I have any players on the shortlist that are of that value. Um, and Bolo, no, he's just joined. We don't have anyone of that value. If I search players... I don't think you can search by how much they actually are valued at, which is kind of annoying. Um, so, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop this part of the recording and come back and look for some players that are around that budget. Just to try and get uh, some new players into the club. So I will be right back. Right guys, as you can see here on the screen, there's been a new player added to the list on the transfer list. Now, this player was suggested um, by someone in the comments in a previous video. Uh, shout out to you. I've just had a little look at him. Um, I've just had a little scout on um, uh, a few websites just to see some like cheaper players which have like maybe high potential or are quite good in the game. This guy did pop up and then I remembered that someone actually commented him. Um, so I'm gonna try and buy him now. Um, where I've been looking, apparently he's worth around 4.5 million. So I think for now I'm just going to offer 5 million uh, straight up just to see uh, if they will accept that. Actually, I'll, I'll do 5.2. Uh, let's see if they accept that. Yeah, so I think I probably paid it a bit more <clears throat> than what he's worth. Now, the reason why I'm going after this right wing is one, to have squad depth in the wing position because uh, Luca Bacchio, like, he, he's. It's only really him and uh, Atsu. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say rotation. Um, it's only really him and Atsu for e either wing. Um, so I think if this guy comes in, he can either start on the right wing or he can be a backup for the right wing. Uh, and he's got a lot of potential. So I think this is going to be a good deal. And because we only have a little bit of money left. Um, so I think uh, if I offer him just 10 grand a week and I give him like a... What, should we just give him 150 grand bonus? He's only 18, so I think he'll happily take that. Uh, and it's a fair offer. Transfer deadline day signing um, for De La Vega. De La Vega, I'll call him. Um, so, <clears throat> as you can see here, actually, I've just made a few changes to the team. I've dropped Foden back to centre mid and played Almer on uh, in cam. We're going to test this out for the next game because this was suggested by one of the one of you guys in the comments um so what i am going to do that does mean unfortunately i'm going to drop out hayden i didn't really like using him not going to lie um i prefer shelby over him so we're going to bring in uh de la vega there uh and we'll drop so we'll put shelby back as a center mid coverage and we've got two wingers now who can cover but for the first game i'm going to start him just to test him out and we'll have uh Luca Bacchio, Jolinton, Atsu, Shelby, Lascelles, Lazaro, 
and Darlow as the subs. This is going to be the team. Uh, Dubra Dubravka, Mankilo, Conte, Sharp, Rose, Foden, Somar, Almiron, Maxim, Martinez and De La Vega. That's going to be the team for the first game of the episode. Uh, I was going to show you the um, Foden and uh, Almiron swap as well um, before that. But anyway, <clears throat> before we get into today's gameplay, uh, which we hope to improve on in the last episode uh, as we did struggle um, we do have the last bit of deadline day, which I won't be selling anyone else and I won't be uh, buying anyone else because we've ran out of money. So um, we have actually spent a fair bit of money, you know, we've spent just just the odd uh, 110 million. Uh, so we need to kind of buck our ideas up and go forward in the league. Um, Shelby, I'm going to reject that from Inter Milan. Uh, I don't want to sell him. Obviously, I want to keep him and use him as a squad rotational player. Uh, alongside Hayden so without further ado well, that is the end of the transfer deadline day and that is a lot of money being spent over the course of the window now if we go to the calendar for today's games we do have Liverpool away Brighton at home and then I will most likely leave these two games for the next episode um, I kind of want to spread the games um, per episode normally i mean let me go right this is what i'm going to say now let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see two games per episode with extended highlights or would you like to see like three or four games per episode with only really the goals uh in the games um so you get more games per episode um obviously then it, it lets me know because obviously we could do like a whole month of october in one episode and then a whole month of november if you get what I mean so let me know in the comment section down below what you prefer if you prefer the two games per episode with extended highlights or you would prefer just three or four or even five sometimes games per episode with minimal highlights basically just the goals and the very very good chances um, other than that I'm going to simulate up to the Liverpool game and get that underway and I will see you guys in the game right guys as you can see here we're jumping into the game against Liverpool Away from home, Luka Modric has signed for Liverpool. That's a strange transfer. Not too sure about that one. Anyway, jumping into the highlights now. Let's see how we get on. Almiron. That's not a good pass at all. Here come Liverpool with Mane now. Plays it inside. Back out to Mane. That's not a good tackle from Almiron there. Mane now. On the ball, plays it all the way back to Matip. Don't really have anything to worry about there. Robertson now. Oh, that's a great turn. I thought that would have been a free kick, but clearly not by the ref. Mane whips it in. Good defending from Conte. We counter now. Almiron plays a nice ball to Somar. He's going to play that out to Martinez. Oh, here we go. Maxim. He's on the counter. St. Maxim. He's through. Can he score? St. Maxim. Oh, it's not a good effort. I think I took too long to shoot there. And now Almiron's going to get a yellow card for the previous tackle on, I think, Robertson. Uh, anyway, corner. Almiron whips it in, front post shot, oh, couldn't get the goal there, Conte now, Almiron, plays it all the way to Sommar, oh that's a nice play from him, here's Phil Foden, going to cut inside, pass Van Dijk, Sommar's there on the edge of the box, can't get a shot away but Ankilo's picked it up and he's just about made that pass, here we go, Almiron, out to De La Vega. Can he whip a ball in? Oh, it's not a great ball. Here come Liverpool. Mohamed Salah breaking through. Good defending from Manquillo there. Now we just need to get the ball out. Oh, that's lovely football. St. Maxim's through. We can get around Trent. Yes, he can. St. Maxim's through on goal. Alan St. Maxim takes the shot. He can't score. Martinez. Oh, he can't score. Oh, we get a corner though. He's going to whip this in. Latoura Martinez is there. Oh, so is Van Dijk. Somar now. Picks up the ball. Shah. Foden. Inside. Martinez. Almiron's picked it up. Oh, he's offside. Somar has played a ball over the top. And it's not going to get to St. Maxim. I did think as it was gliding through the air there that that might have actually made it to him, but um, clearly not. Um, you know, I think t this game has been a bit steady, uh, much better than the previous games, not going to lie. Uh, it does feel a bit better. I'm getting a bit used to the game 
play against the AI uh, as Shah is up against Wijnaldum. Plays it back to Arnold. Henderson can't do anything with it. I think this is going to be half time, and it is half time. Here we go. Early in the second half, St. Maxim plays it inside. Almiron. Just play it down to Danny Rose. Danny Rose has got a bit of space here. Inside to Almiron. Waiting for that run of someone. Somar's there. Play it back to Foden. Foden didn't really have an option there. Modric wins it back. Oh, and Liverpool could be on the counter here if Fabian Shah doesn't get there. And he just about does. But we've still got the ball here. Manquillo, Conte. Just trying to play some football here. And we're actually doing all right at this. Martinez. Or Martinez. I always say the wrong one. Like, you'll notice throughout the episodes uh, and throughout the video, I do say the wrong one each time. St. Maxim with the finesse shot. And Allison saves. Again, though, we are creating chances, which I am enjoying. And I am... It, you know, it's positive signs compared to the last few games we've played. We're on the counter-attack here. Somar is going to play the ball down to De La Vega. He's going to cut inside. Nice turn from him. Somar inside to Martinez. Oh, my God. Martinez can't get the ball past the defender there. And we actually could get counter-attacked here if Firmino plays the right pass, which he does. And this is Wijnaldum. Conte's having to trap back. Wijnaldum, and it's a poor effort from Wijnaldum. Conte made enough, uh, a nice recovery run there. And um, I'm going to bring on Christian Atsu for uh, Almiron. Just to bring on some fresh legs uh, for the team. And I'll play this one short while we're here. Try and play out from the back here. But Maxim, can he get the ball? Yes. It's actually a nice pass. Foden play it on to Atsu. He's just come on. Can he switch it? That's a great ball. De La Vega, lovely touch inside, he shoots. It's saved by the keeper again. It's going to go out for a throw in here. 20 or so minutes left, and we're just kind of slowly getting back into it. St. Maxim, play it inside. Martinez on the turn, he misses the ball. Here come Liverpool on the counter here. Salah bursting down the wing. Plays the ball inside. Conte has to get his head onto that. De La Vega into Samar now. He's got a great um, burst of pace coming out of the midfield. Uh, unfortunately, he does lose the ball, as I say that, which uh, is a bit ironic. Anyway, Mane on the ball. Plays it back to Robertson. He'll play that down the line to Mane. He's onside here. Conte has to come across. Played it back. Good defending. And I think we can have a counter of our own here if St. Maxim can uh, make the run. And Latoura Martinez... And he slide it into St. Maxim. St. Maxim, play it one more to Christian Atsu. Oh, my God. Save from Allison. And, uh, yeah, we're playing much better. St. Maxim whips it in. Shah's at the back post. St. Maxim, he's still on side. De La Vega. I'm going to try and float one to the back post. It's a poor cross. De La Vega now on the counter-attack. Into stoppage time. Can we get something here? We have to play it back. Atsu to John Joe Shelby. Goes for the shot. Deflected. Oh, and it's 0-0 as the final score. You know what? I will take that against Liverpool away. You know, we've just come back off a lot of losses. And to draw against Liverpool away, I think, I know we can be happy of that. And we can move on into the next game of the episode. Right guys, moving on into the last game of the episode for today um, against Brighton at home. Hopefully we can bounce back and get our first win of the season. You know, positive result against Liverpool, to be honest, 0-0. Uh, I know obviously 0-0 is not the greatest of results in terms of the scoreline, but I think for us, just to get a point on the table uh, was good. And uh, we're playing against Brighton there, just a couple of places above us, and we've got a chance straight away. Almiron shoots, and it's wide. Uh, yeah, like I said... Brighton are only a few points, like one point above us, I think. So if we win here, we can jump out of that 20th pos position, um, which we are hoping to do. Anyway, let's get into the highlights. But I think we might actually have one here. If Martinez can find the pass, but he can't. Here comes Phil Foden now. St. Maxim's on the wing. I don't think that's going to reach him. Or it is St. Maxim. Goes for the shot. And it's 1-0 to Newcastle United in the 21st minute. St. Maxim getting his first goal of the season. 
and our first goal of the game and only our second goal of the season uh, which is quite mad to say Phil Foden makes a lovely pass and I think just the pure pace of St Maxim uh, got him that goal there lovely bit of pace to get past the defender and it's 1-0 to Newcastle United Almiron plays it inside to Foden that's a really nice pass actually plays it with Martinez uh, again that could have been a 1-2 if the defender didn't block Foden off there Charles going to have to get this one down on the decks, which he does. And Kilo, can he find Almiron? Plays outside to De La Vega. Oh, trying to turn the defender there. Didn't quite work out for us. He's gone Brighton now. Trossard plays it back to him. Again, I don't mind this. You know, we're, we're one the up now. So we kind of let them keep the ball. And Mankilo does brilliantly there to win it back. And... Foden do something here. Almiron. Kind of need some options here. Martinez has made a run. Is he still going to go? Martinez is still going through. Cuts it back to Somar. Somar! Saved by the keeper. Should have probably scored there, to be honest. Ball's whipped in. St. Maxim. Front post is Martinez. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought that creeped into the bottom corner. But again, we're creating a lot of chances, which is a positive sign. Here come Brighton now. Trossard bursting through into the box and he's played it across and it's a goal for Pascal Gross at the back post. Oh, you just hate to see it. A sweaty goal from the AI and it's now 1-1 in the game. Well, De La Vega's won the ball back there from a poor touch from the defender. And wait for the run of De La Vega. Cuts inside. Ah, it's not going to work. Trossard on the ball now. Here come Brighton on the counter. Again, we're just keeping them, keeping them out there. And they look, they've given this, the ball straight away. Tomar now. I play inside to Foden. Oh, that's a poor touch from him. Didn't really expect that from him. St. Maxim pressing now. Wow, Montoya is just teasing with us there. <laughs> Aaron Moore on the ball. Let's switch it inside. Kyala. De La Vega wins it back again. Need some options here though. St. So Maxim's there, so is Martinez. De La Vega, can he find Martinez? Not really. Here come Brighton, Trossard. Lovely block from Conte. Now we need to get the ball out. De La Vega, play it inside. He does well. Surprised that wasn't a foul there. Martinez does brilliantly there on the ball. Almiron, oh, he's got pushed off the ball way too easily there. And here we go, Brighton on the counter. Again, they just don't really um, tend to do much of the ball in this sort of area. They just keep it. But now, obviously, I say that. They come up the other side of the pitch. Here we go. Pascal Gross outside the trossard. Inside. Easy for the keeper. Going to roll that one out to Mankilo. Play it down to De La Vega. Again, he's just got tackled so easily. I'm finding that a lot in all the players that I'm using, really. He's just getting tackled quite easily. And we lose the ball again. Pascal Gross. Oh, we need to sort something out here. De La Vega. Oh, that's not really a great pass. And we'll have to make some substitutions soon. Duro Martinez. To Maxim. Back to Martinez. Or Martinez, sorry. I keep saying it wrong. Almiron now. Almiron gets around the defender. Martinez is there. Can he shoot? Martinez. Oh, come on. St. Maxim now wins it back. Here comes Almiron. Can he squeeze it inside? Yes, he can. Somar bursting through the middle of the pitch. Waiting for some options. Here comes Almiron. Again, he doesn't really have any options. Martinez peels away from the defender. Martinez! Goal! 86th minute. And it's 2-1 to Newcastle United against Brighton. Latoro Martinez bags his first goal of the season. And that was a lovely play from Almiron to take his time before he decided what to do with it. And Latore Martinez bangs it in. Top corner. We did make three substitutions just as the game was going on. It did take a while to actually bring them on, so that's why they're only coming on now. But anyway, guys, we're closing in on our first victory of the season. Martinez. Phil Foden. What's he going to do here? Foden still got the ball. Whips it in. Atsu's in the back pose. Oh, what a save from the keeper. Oh my days, what a save. And that's the end of the game, guys. 2-1 to the Newcastle.
which means we do I think we go out of the relegation zone if we do go have a look into the advance now we definitely go above Brighton so that means we're off the bottom of the table uh, for now so I think well I'm not depending on other results uh, of the teams above us we are now sat in oh I can't even check because we've got the EFL Cup to play against Liverpool in the next episode uh, we need to change competition back to the Premier League um, uh, obviously I don't care about the Champions League or Europa League I've gone the wrong way here we go so we've now jumped up to 16th so you know it's not too bad you know it's progress anyway guys thank you guys for watching today's video I do hope you enjoy let me know your thoughts on the video down below in the comment section if you're still around leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new around here and I'll see you guys in the next episode Peace.